Hey guys, it's K Man. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. And seeing we're working our way to episode number 50, 50, where I'm gonna put the world download in and reveal the secret super project that I've been working on. Woo! Yes, that's right. Um, we need to clean up the world a little bit, so I'm doing all the menial tasks and cleaning up and finishing projects that I haven't been able to finish. So when the world download happens, we can actually um, ah, have a complete world to finish. We might as well just get off the stairs to finish, uh, make the world complete for the download. Whoa, that was a little too close. So um, in order to do that, we need to get rid of all the chests in the world that are around that are filled with junk the junk chests you know what I mean and um, the way to do it is with shulker boxes and I don't have a single shulker box so what we are gonna do today is I'm gonna make a whole bunch of end chests I'm gonna uh, go to the end and raid all the temples and stuff and things and figure out where I put my punch bow and fly over the void Oh boy, yeah, so I'm probably going to die a couple of times doing this, but I'm prepared to lose a whole bunch of good gear for this, because the ultimate prize will be the shulker boxes, so yeah, this would be interesting, and um, I'm going to get prepared for the trip, and then we're going to head to the end and start up. So I wanted to go collect a whole bunch of uh, shulker boxes. So of course I come to the end and the very first thing I do is jump off my main island to fly because we are in 1.11.2 which means I can use these things to fly. And my wings didn't deploy and I died with all of my best gear, hence why I'm wearing iron. Rawr. Rawr, rawr. That's not good. So I uh, found some more elytra and then I died in an end city about 20,000 blocks away from here. Which, in this episode, we're going to do a rescue mission to go get those elytra. But I had seen that those elytra were so far away and I didn't have any elytra. I went the opposite direction to find elytra. And that is what I am wearing right now. The elytra I just got from this particular end city. So I'm going to fly back to my base. Because with the distance of flying that we do uh, to find these end cities... With Elytra without mending or unbreaking three on it, it really destroys them before I even can get back to where I need to go. So I need to go back home with these Elytra and put mending and unbreaking two on or unbreaking three on them. But first, this guy is kind of annoying me, so let's make him teleport. And let's kill the guy now. Wherever he ended up going. Right there. Maybe we can get some more. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we got some more. Let me show you some of the things I have picked up along the way. There's a whole bunch of shulker boxes here. I'm very happy about that. We can throw, we can throw that in there. Uh, la, 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 la. We could make a couple more shulker boxes, but I'm not going to at this very present moment. Um, I'll throw these. Yeah, nah, I won't throw those in there. I can make those later. Hopefully this is so touch. Yes, right? So, uh, we probably... Is there a dragon head out here? Or did I... There is a dragon head out here. And I haven't collected him yet? What's up with that? Maybe I was preparing him for this video. I think there's another ship around here somewhere also. We might want to just check out real quick. I have actually not completely cleared out this um, this particular fortress yet. Yeah, well, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And yes, I do have auto jump on, which makes this type of work a little bit more annoying. We're going to throw you in there. I don't want to lose you. With all the death that has been happening to me doing this, um, yeah, I don't want to lose you. So, uh... I'm always afraid to do this now that the first time I tried, my my wings did not go off. Where's the ship? Let's go see if, uh, let's first jump off over land. Okay, we got this. 
Obviously, I haven't done this temple yet. Um, let me get some of this going. Uh, we do have uh, a dragon head on there. So, uh, let's, let's get what we need from this place. Ouch. See how dangerous this is. There's always one guy in here, right? Where are you? I heard you. Oh, you, you teleported, you. So, oh, you're still in here? Yes, you are. Let's get you. Excuse me. Stop it. Thank you. Annoyance. So, um, yeah, like, the loot in here is uh, very nice, I must say. I'll take it. And guess what? We've got another elytra. So, you know what? That means, that means I'm going to throw those in the ender chest also. <laughs> and we will take the long drive back home, put the stuff away, before I die again. Then, in this episode, we are going to go get my third elytra that I'll have. So I actually would have only lost one pair of elytra, right? Two pair. No, I fell off twice. <laughs> no, actually, I don't think the second time I had a pair of elytra on me. I just fell off. I was making a, you know, one of those ladder bridges and just fell off. So we need to go west. West it is. And hmm, that kind of scares me. I don't want to jump over the void. We'll jump this way. Yes, thank you. So, <clears throat> this is basically what I've been doing. Um, and hopefully I can find my way back home. So, I might just speed up this footage on my search for my home. I'm going to use my my um, areas where I use to walk across specific areas so I know which way is home. You know, retracing my steps back is basically what I'm doing. Alright, I'm actually not going to go all the way back. I found one of these. You saw the, you saw the, um, you saw the beacon beam. So what I do when I see these, I kind of, kind of get close to it. I bring up the coordinates and I take a screenshot. That tells me exactly where these things are. I have a screenshot of a bunch of these out here. And basically it's just quick and easy transport. See if this works. There we go. I am now at my home where I um, load up. There's my initial dragon kill. There's my um, lack of beak, uh, obsidian towers for ripping down all of these for my super secret project. Yeah. And. We're just going to go through here and head back home. We're going to get stuff ready. Oh, so I'm out here. Let's sleep real quick. We're going to get stuff ready and go and try and find my missing elytra that I can still get. But first, let me show you um, something in my abode. Woohoo! It's nice to be home. Whenever you're in the end for a very long time and you come home, it's like, yeah, baby. It's like being on vacation and you come home and it's like, woohoo. I got the two dragon heads up here now and I can add a couple more. And um, one thing I'll show you with the shulker boxes. Um, just real quick, I got one with food, one with all the fireworks, ender pearls, and all the excess stuff. And things so we are set up right now um, 
So basically, I have a villager that sells mending for 20 emeralds, and I'm breaking for a bunch more, and I'm going to put those on my elytra. You see that little bit of flying did that much damage to the elytra, so I can mend it and whatever, and killing Enderman in the end will help set up the um, repair work on the elytra also from the XP. So I'm going to get a little stuff on here, then I'm going to fly out to where my other elytra is, and I'll catch you there. I know you were expecting to see me flying through the air in the end, looking for the place I died and lost my wings. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And as you just saw, I had wings on my back. I flew all over the place in the end and I could not find my wings, but I did find some other things. Um, we got some tools, we got some armor, and I've, you know, already taken some stuff to make my armor, and we've got 11 dragon heads, a bunch of gold, all these elytra, and other stuffs that you find in things, so I did get myself um, the elytras back, I have the excess elytras, I got the extra dragon heads, um, the ability to make some more shulker boxes. I don't need to make any more because look, eventually each one of these is going to have a whole bunch of stuff that's going to stay in my ender chest. I don't know if I'll do that this video or what, but I'm going to fill all these up and I'm just going to keep them in my ender chest and that's all that's going to be in my ender chest. I'm going to color code these also, but right now it's just going to be the purple ones. But. <clears throat> I've had to redo my armor because I've died three times in the end, four times in the end, I take it back, each time I lost an elytra. Um, but look, the elytra doesn't even have mending or unbreaking on it, I got mending on that, I got mending and unbreaking on that, I gotta get unbreaking. So basically all my tools and all my armor that does not have mending on it, I'm gonna get mending and unbreaking on it. So let me go get something and we'll start trading with the villagers. So this guy right here with the four little X's or asterisks next to him, that's the best wheat, carrot, potato, and pumpkin trade. So I just give this guy some of this, some of this, some of this, some more of that. <clears throat> he doesn't want to do that trade anymore. Maybe he'll snap out of it. He snapped out of it. Good guy. Thanks for being smart. So now we got 21 um, emeralds. And this guy has a mending for what? 20 I think it was. Mending for 20. So we just throw a book in there and... Uh, what, uh, that's in there, and we got a mending book, and it says, hey, poo on you, no more mending for you. Oh, okay, good. He cleared up his thing. One thing I have uh, noticed that I really, really need out here, and that is a, um, uh, yeah, one of those. An anvil. I think I'll go make an anvil real quick and spruce up my place. I think that looks okay, an anvil on each side, so let me get my wings off and like this, throw that in there, um, mending, so now my wings have mending, but they do not have unbreaking, so we need to go find the unbreaking guy, I knew, I do know we've got one somewhere here, see how much Mr. Unbreaking is, uh, protection, Silk Dutch, nice, unbreaking for 30, so we need to get 30 more le um, things on here, and that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, put mending and unbreaking on everything, and then um, I guess we'll go and start clearing out some of the chests in my world, because that's the whole reason why I went to the end. Um, and we can clean this place up, get rid of all the 
the weird chests that are placed around the world that I just threw down because it was convenient and I don't want them there for the world downloads. So, hence the shulker boxes. So I'm gonna get busy with this and um, and I'll show you some chest reduction surgery. <laughs> All right, be right back. Hey guys, I'm at my flower shop. I'm going around the different parts of the world and seeing if I have chests hanging about or any dirty, junky things that don't belong. It looks like these... I haven't spent much... Oh, duh, I can't even open that. I haven't spent much time um, at the garden, but you know... Oh, I got some redstone there. But I'm just checking every place. So what I do... Um, when I get some stuff is I head to the place I'm supposed to go. Come on. Why is that not working? Let me just see. Do I, I do have my wings on. Okay. There we go. Um, I do head to the places um, that I store it. Well, let me get a couple more things around town here. Because I know there's some more chests, and I'll show you where I store it. Kinda show you where I store it. I know there's some chests down here that are filled with junk that I need to get rid of. Uh, yeah, like this one. Well, that looks pretty junky. <laughs> Lots of junk here. Um, and like I say, I just keep stuff filled up. You can throw away the ender chest. I just kind of go like this. So really the hard thing about making this video was <clears throat> where I'm storing the stuff. I'm going to head over there now, but it's part of the secret project. I told you the secret project was a storage system. So I'm heading towards that now, but I'm going to edit this footage because I do not want you to see the storage system. So I'm in my super secret storage location. I'm in the basement, so it's not finished. So there's really nothing to see here other than that I'm in some, some sort of obsidian building. And I've made these chests um, filled with a bunch of different types of products. And this is my overflow chest and all the extra overflow stuff, as you see, has been put in here. So that's what I've been doing. I've been just going around my world, collecting stuffs and putting them in the appropriate chest. And eventually, um, I will have a storage system after episode 50. And here, it will be one of my first things I do after I do the world download. But this is where I'm hiding it, and um, that's basically going to be it, because you don't need me to watch me empty chests and put them here. It's really mundane and boring, and this whole episode had lots of mundane and boring, so I really appreciate you following through and sticking with me to this time. I mean, guess through going through the end and getting the shulker boxes and stuff of very important things but it doesn't make great videos so I've struggled with this episode a little bit but I appreciate it and if you're still here watching this um, please hit the like button uh, subscribe and share it with people letting people know that you like this stuff and uh, so I can have more people watch this stuff and hopefully like this stuff also but that's gonna be it for this episode thank you for watching I'm gonna finish the rest of the movement on my storage systems um, off camera because you don't need to see that and then I only have a few more chests to go so it's not like uh, I filled up the shulker all my shulker boxes so what is there 27 of them about six or seven times to get to the place I am right now and it takes a long time to do that stuff the next episode we'll do something a little more interesting probably with villagers um, because I need to finish filling up my villager area with the right proper villagers and that's gonna take a little while also so but I'm gonna um, now end this episode then Start working on my first Pillow Fort episode. Woohoo! Which is a server uh, run by Jan Don Khan. You gotta be a patron for her. And it's a great server to be. It's a great place to be. But till then, have a great day. It's KMA.